video 30. Well, this is uh, a couple of boxes that'll be, they'll each be a 40 volt pack when they're done. You can see the, the back one's populated now with, uh, with cells. Uh, it's four parallel, and that's going to be, uh, I think, 39.6 volts uh, nominal. Uh, the front bat box is just holding that little 12 volt test cell that I put together uh, to do some discharge testing with. Uh, all the cells are holding up pretty well that I've tested so far, a couple of hundred of them now. And uh, so those are two of the packs. They'll fit into, uh, there'll be four packs that'll fit in this front uh, battery space. I actually tore it apart recently. I wanted to add two more inches to the tail end of that thing uh, to, to ha add that last battery pack to really fill the car uh, the front way I wanted to. So I had originally planned the size of this for a different, uh, different cell. So a little rework there and the four will fit in. Also for the back battery tray, this, uh, this is the tray that, that gets bolted up underneath. It's going to hold uh, three of those 40-volt uh, packs, and that'll just go right up underneath where the gas tank would normally be, up under behind the car. I uh, decided this is where the charger is going to go. I'm going to decide to screw that down here. So that'll be its permanent home and run some uh, venting out the back of those fans and vent the heat of that charger out of the car. So once the trunk is enclosed and everything, it should be able to keep the heat down off that charger all right. So that's the latest on the car. Been a little slow this winter. Uh, the cold weather out here slowed me down and uh, work kind of gets in the way, but uh, we're back making motion here. So let's see what happens.